Welcome back to another review. I've got a power bank that's sent in from Alki. I've looked at one previously before, the slightly smaller capacity one. So I'm looking at the 16,000 milliamp hour one today. We'll just run through what's included, user manual and your warranty card. Now it is worth looking at the user manual because it not only gives you the overview and specifications on the power bank, you'd normally just ignore it because they're simple things, but um, it does explain what quick charge is. There's different protocols. This supports up to quick charge three. So that means it increases the voltage. You get faster charge with compatible devices. That is, and it also covers frequently asked questions, your warranty, which is two years. Nothing to see much on the box. It's recycle friendly. And you also get a short micro USB cable that's included too. Probably got tons of them around like I have, but still they've included one. Now build quality in this, very nice, very dense and solid. A bit of heft to it because of the larger capacity. You'll notice there the power button. That doubles as the battery level indicator, just as it did on the previous Alki that I looked at. So it starts off white, goes to red, uh, green, and then red when it's down to 30% and under. You've got two ports. The green is the normal and the uh, orange is the quick charge. And you long press on the power button to turn the LED light on and off it does have the light included there and you'll see the markings on the side of the case as well so nothing to complain about in terms of the build quality just remember that the uh, orange port is your quick charge port if you don't have a quick charge device it will just charge it at the normal speeds up to around about 2.4 amps now i do a quick comparison with the uh, visual comparison with the other Orki that i looked at this is rated to 12,000 milliamp hours and this has the glowing battery indicator on the logo rather than on the power button but they're pretty similar in a lot of ways obviously it's a bit smaller but it doesn't have the quick charge um, so this model does you'll see several different models from the maker and uh, you can get higher capacity ones for about the same price or a little less it doesn't have quick charge so you can pick the one that you want or you'd find most useful so these would definitely be better suited to traveling with rather than trying to shove it in a jacket. Now the charge capacity just took in just over 16,000 milliamp hours. And the discharge, which is what we're really looking for, is uh, just under 10,800 or 10,710. It came in exactly at this. A margin of error with this test, so it's not 100%, but it should give you a good idea. That's a decent conversion rate. That's what you get out of it, charging devices at a normal charging speed. That just showed you charging it again, and you'll see the lights glow as it fills up the capacity. Remember that you do have to press the power button to activate the power bank. That is something which is different from some power banks that just automatically start. It will stop itself though once it's finished charging. I'm just going to test out the quick charge now. I've already pressed the power button to activate it and you'll see the charging speed go up to around about the 9 volts. That's much quicker than the normal uh, 5 volts that you get. So that hence that's why they call it the quick charge. But only devices that will support that. If you don't use that it will just go back to its normal charging speed. And you can see here I'm charging um, pulling quick charge on one and over two amps on the other port so it's well able to handle uh, dual port fast charging on both and at the same time just a quick look at the built-in led good enough to see what you're doing and you've got a huge capacity battery so it'll last for ages worthwhile having that included on there so just wrapping up with a summary on this did a very nice job with the conversion rate decent build quality and if you need it the quick charge port could be quite useful as the built-in light could be as well only thing i might change is that you don't have quick charge on the charging port the micro usb port that would have been a nice touch to have but in other areas a nice little power bank